I am convinced that Otter AI is one of the best transcription apps out there. Why? Stick around. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Emily. I created Definite Hearing as a way to increase awareness for the deaf and hard of hearing. I'm hard of hearing myself. I was diagnosed with my moderate to severe genetic hearing loss at the age of four months old. I wear hearing aids and I love them so, 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 so much. All right, I hope you stick around to the end of this video because if you do, I'm going to share some other transcription apps that I use in addition to Otter AI. All right, so let's just start off with the first reason that I love Otter AI. One, it's incredibly accurate. Two, it is so easy to use. I just open the app and hit the record button and it just starts transcribing. It's incredible. The great news is Otter AI has a pro light version in which you can get 600 free transcribing minutes every single month. Now I do think that that's going to be expiring for me soon. I think you get that free for the first year and after that then you have to upgrade which makes me super sad because I love it when my 600 minutes renew every single month. I don't use Otter AI all the time. I just use it in times of like when I go to church, when I'm in work meetings, or when I want to transcribe my YouTube videos. Otter AI is pretty accurate in terms of adding punctuation and various mechanics to the transcription, which I love. All right, let's talk about some Otter AI features that make it awesome. The first one is the transcription format. Like I said, you just go into Otter AI, hit the little record button, and it just starts transcribing. You can change your transcription text size. I just recently found out about this one, and I'm so grateful I did, because even though I'm young, people might say, oh, you have young eyes, you're fine. It's really helpful to make the text size bigger so that I can hold my phone or my device farther away and not have to be like, yeah, I'm listening to you while I'm reading my transcription that's like teeny tiny, if you know what I mean. Next, you can add speakers. I like to add my speakers after my transcription is done. So I just go ahead and click the speaker icon and add a name. Number three, you can create groups. This is especially helpful in an educational setting. You can use it for work meetings as well or other meetings where you need to take notes. I love doing this and it's super easy with Otter AI because you just go to the note, you can add group members and it will send the recording and the transcription straight to them. The next two items are very similar. They're search options. You can do a global search, so you can search all your notes that you've ever taken. And then you can also do a local note search. I love this because I would use this in school and if I was like, oh, the professor said that one thing about like cellular division. What was that? You can search cellular division and it will pull it right up. It's like so amazing. And you can have the audio and the transcription right next to each other. I love it. Otter AI is a great way to take notes. And I admit I've even used this app in family settings, for example, when my grandparents start talking and I want to keep a record of their stories, I just open the app, hit record, and let them talk. And this will allow me to save their stories. And they're all typed out with the audio and everything in one spot. It's incredible. There are so many applications for this technology, but obviously the most useful one for me is if I'm listening to something and I just need a little help, like, oh, I just missed that sentence. I can look down, get it and move on. It takes the guesswork out of hearing for me. And I love that. I absolutely love that. Last but not least, this is another feature. I don't use this one a lot, but it's there and it can be so helpful, especially with cross device platform usage. This is the mobile and the desktop device pair. You can put your devices next to each other and log into your account and it will have the notes on your mobile and on your laptop or desktop. It's awesome. It's so nice to have all of your information in easy to reach accessible device locations. So I want to just say the winning points of Otter AI are that it's incredibly accurate. Otter AI uses artificial intelligence to listen to the sounds in the recording and type out what's being said. Now, because it uses AI, there are some situations that I have found that Otter AI is not as accurate. It's usually pretty accurate in the educational setting, but when I go to church, <laughs> it's not very accurate. Like it has trouble 
catching church terms like baptism or Jesus Christ or terms that are really relevant to my religion. And that makes sense because if the artificial intelligence hasn't had a lot of time in a given environment, it doesn't recognize those words and it can't pump them out. So just know that if you are in a religious environment or an environment in which the lingo is not as common as everyday language lingo, it may not be as accurate and that's okay. That is one con, I want to say, a downside of Otter AI, but this is hard because they can't really control that. As a hard of hearing person, I want my transcription to be 110% accurate. And I'm like, what's the point of this? Why is it not 110% accurate? I just have to take a step back and realize that my hearing isn't accurate either. So you gotta give or take, it's not perfect. It's like hearing aids too. You put your hearing devices in, you expect to be able to hear everything and yes you hear things but you still have to understand it's like that same concept that it's not 110 percent accurate but it is still very accurate and i love like i said earlier i love the punctuation in it i love that it can capitalize the letters at the beginning of a sentence transcription in general like even on my youtube videos when i do the automatic subtitles it doesn't catch the words right it doesn't have punctuation it doesn't have like properly capitalized words like i is never capitalized on youtube and so it's really nice that Otter AI recognizes those sentence structure elements and implements those. I love it. So there is kind of an overview of Otter AI. As I started making this video, I noticed, oh my goodness, there's too much to add. So I will be making another video that highlights the six top features of Otter AI that were not mentioned here. So there are more cool gadgets and things that the app has that I have been learning more about, but I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to share this. Like, this is a big deal that the app can do this. So stick around, stay around for that video. It should be out in the next couple weeks. And I'm super excited about that. But Otter AI is awesome. If you haven't already, download it. I'm going to include a link to download it in the description below. Just download it, start exploring, see what you like about it. Please let me know what your thoughts are, what you like about it, what you hate about it, things that you've noticed, like other features. Like I said, I could not mention all the features in this video. We would I'll get bored of listening to me talk. So stay tuned for that video. I'm super excited to share it. I am so glad you stuck around to the end of this video. Here are some more transcription tools you can use aside from Otter AI to help you read to hear. Another great transcription app I use is Ava, A-V-A. That is also a transcription app. I don't like that user interface as much as I like Otter, but it works great. So I just like to say, use both and figure out which one you like the best. The next is Google Docs has voice dictated notes. To find this, open a Google Doc, go to the help bar, type in dictation, and it will pull up voice dictation. And these notes, you can just simply speak or have someone else speak and it will type it out. I will say this one isn't very accurate, but it's better than nothing. Next, you can use the caption settings on Google Hangouts and now Zoom too, Zoom has it. I've used it in my work meeting. It's like surprisingly accurate. I love it. Apparently Otter AI and Zoom have teamed up. I'm so grateful they have. It has taken way too long to get transcription on video chat platforms. So that has been awesome as well. And make sure you use those. Like there are so many transcription options available out there. Now you know about Otter AI, that's a mobile one. You can use Google Hangouts and Zoom captions on your desktop, laptop, and TV is getting more transcription options as well. I actually use Otter AI when I'm listening to TV too, if I don't like the TV transcriptions. So the sky's the limit. Have you tried Otter AI? If so, I would love to hear in the comments below. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to making more awesome content for you. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, also I wanted to mention, I like purposely wore blue to match Otter AI's logo. I'm like, I consider myself an artistic person and I like it when things match. Does it drive me crazy when they don't? It depends. Anyway, I just hope you stay strong and stay amazing. And until next time, have a great day.